Hello and welcome to what is the finale of Blitz the League 2. In the last episode, we, you know, we had a heck of a ball game against the New England regulars. That was the highlight of that game. But now we are 6-0. and We're cruising all the way through. Um, we can lose this next game and we're still going to make the Division One championship. But... It's the Battle of Canada. It's Montreal and Vancouver. I, I, it can't get any better than this. As for the league leaders, we're currently fifth in the passing department. But I know we didn't pass for the most yards in in uh, Division Two, but we still won because we had a ton of rushing yards. And here we have a fair amount of rushing yards. We're currently fourth in the... Uh, rushing department, but I doubt we're going to be able to do enough to catch, uh, we might do enough to catch Diggs, but we're not going to catch Hubbard or Neal, but I think if we have a good day on both the ground and through the air, we might be able to win MVP, but with that all being said, let's jump into these last two games. I'm excited, but also kind of sad because this is going to be the end of this, uh, this LP, and it's been fun. I'm not going to lie, but we're taking on the Vancouver Beavers. Uh, Montreal Wanderers are 6-0, and Vancouver 2-4. and Let's jump right in. When Vancouver entered the league a couple years back, everyone laughed at the name Beaver. Thanks to a solid defense and the steady rhythm of tight end Carlos Cotto, no he's laughing now. The guy can kill it. He's the funniest trash talker in the league. Can't let this guy get rolling or he will beat you down. Vancouver Beavers. Vancouver came into the league two years ago, and they've been on fire ever since, battling their way into Division I last year. They did that by making the most of their expansion drafts. So they're kind of like the mirror image of us. Quick team on the rise. Hi, and thanks for joining us. Big, big game today. So here we are in snowy Vancouver for the Battle of Canada. Not much is at stake here in terms of maybe placement maybe or maybe for relegation certainly for Vancouver is on the table as they are one of the teams in the bottom of the league but nothing really at stake for Montreal except for maybe the bragging rights as that's going to be Quentin Sands coming in and making in the early hit so already out to a fast start defensively this Montreal Wanderers defense got a ton of turnovers against the regulars last game. As that's going to be Hubbard, I think, was their running back who takes the league, mind you, in rushing. Nearing 1,000 yards on the season, but facing a third and 35, Chapman's going to have to air it out. As that's going to be caught by Hubbard. Hubbard off to the races. 10-5 touchdown. He gets by him. So a 68-yard touchdown pass to their running back, Hubbard. And that puts the Beavers up 6-0. They get the kickoff, and it's a 7-0 ball game for Vancouver. So Vancouver looking to pull the upset against the heavily favored Wanderers as the kickoff goes into the arms of Ricky Johnson who makes his way to the outside of the field and look out he get when he gets a lot of space he's dangerous and the special teams can be very dangerous as his taunting gets him only down to the five so kind of kind of taunted a little early there as oh my god and gets crunched. That's Robinson. First play of the game. The linebacker comes on a blitz and gets knocks him down to the turf. 72% on the shot. So that was a tough hit to take. And now we'll see the quarterback, backup quarterback coming to the game. This is Chuck Downfield. He'll hand it off to Sanchez. Sanchez. Making his way, diving into the end zone. Touchdown. 
And he'll moon the crowd here just under a minute left in this first quarter. And Montreal, with this Marquis Dubois extra point, can tie the game. And the extra point is good. And so we're tied. Seven all ball game. Good kickoff. This will be taken by Woodward. As he'll shove. That's Joey McAdoo down to the ground, and Quentin Sands will have to chase him down. Woodward gets across the 40 to the 41 of Vancouver. And Chapman, that's where he'll have his team start out. Already had a big pass play over the top to Hubbard. So we'll see how this goes. Handoff to Hubbard. He can be dangerous in the open field as he's going to get slammed to the ground. Big hit that time. Broken femur, and Hubbard is... Oh, shoot, and that's going to end Hubbard's season right there. So taking away their over-the-top threat. Chapman. As that's going to be a hit out of bounds by McAdoo. And that's not really going to solve much as that'll get him a first down and we'll lose our unleash. Chapman, play action, pitch out. As there is, oh, geez, that is Dante Robinson coming in and making the quarterback. Getting, the, getting to the quarterback and only maybe a loss of one on the play there. Kind of a strange decision to... As that's going to be another hit on the quarterback. So a couple of trick plays Vancouver pulls out of the hat and they have not gone well as now they are faced with a third and long with four seconds left in this first quarter. They hand it off to Fleck and Fleck... Pulling guys down to the outside, and he'll get inside the 20 to the 19, but that won't really do much for him. This game, it's been all... It's, it's been mostly uh, Vancouver, as the special teams... As that one barely gets through, so 10, 10 to 7 Vancouver. So they'll kick off to Montreal. Ricky Johnson to the outside. Can he break another one? No, he can't. He'll be wrapped up. He should have had a kickoff return for touchdown last kickoff, but that one uh, didn't pan out so well. Robinson now has to keep an eye out. He's got blockers in front, and he'll slide down head first for a gain of 26. Robinson looking out back to throw again. As he throws a dangerous pass back over his body to Arthur Chen, and Arthur Chen makes the catch. First and goal now. Robinson looking back to throw again. Throws it. Caught by Ricky Johnson, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. That, was, that ball was placed perfectly in the back of the end zone, and Ricky Johnson came up with it. Extra points up and good, and that will put Vancouver down by four now. Snow is really picking up here. It's going to make it a lot harder to play on both sides of the ball as Woodward would take that from the back of his own end zone as McAdoo will meet him. And we got ourselves now a four-point ball game with just 110 to go in the second quarter. Under center now, handoff. This is Fleck, the backup running back, filling in for Hubbard. Second and long. And Nichols 
makes a nice run out to the outside and makes it all the way into Wanderer's territory. And we got ourselves a first and goal now. Play action pass, Chapman. And it's over the top and Cotto makes the catch for the touchdown, Vancouver. So Vancouver answers right back with a touchdown of their own. That was actually a really good pass. It was an even more beautiful catch by Cotto himself. And with 34 seconds to go, Vancouver. So right now, only that, only that field goal they kicked is the difference. And the Battle of Canada is really heating up. As Johnson will take this kickoff. Take it to his outside. And he'll step out of bounds and force him to use the unleash. So now with 26 seconds left, Robinson's got a great opportunity here to get his team down the field. And... Makes a man miss. He's got a lot of open space in front of him. And he stiff arms a man, and he's going to go down after a big time gain there. First and goal now, Robinson. Going to look back to pass now. Throws it. Jump ball. Incomplete. So now Robinson taking the snap once again. Going to th throw it up top, and it's caught by Ernie Steele, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. So Robinson and the gang answer right back with a touchdown of their own with four seconds left, and they'll take the lead. So good snap, good hold, kick up on the way, and it is perfect. And right now, Montreal takes a 21-17 lead. But they'll have a kickoff of their own here. So we'll see if Vancouver has anything out there. This one's going to be taken as Sands comes from behind and hits Woodward from behind. And we're going to halftime. Montreal leads by four. So... Big time plays already this game, and Vancouver will kick off now to Montreal as that one goes out of the back of the end zone as Steele slipped, and you know, the game of football it's it's going to be now a little bit difficult to play play pass coverage. Oh man, it was jumped. The route was jumped. It's intercepted. Lipinski making a nice move, gets it outside, and he's into Montreal territory after the horrible interception thrown by Robinson. So Chapman now, and the Beavers are cooking as Nichols takes the snap, takes the handoff, rather, and he'll get inside the five-yard line to about the four. Big formations here, and it's caught by caught by the Beavers, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. And no one said that this was going to be, even though the Wanderers are heavily favored, this is a rivalry game. Throw the records out as the Beavers tack on the extra point and go up by three. Kickoff now. This will go down to the arms of Johnson. Johnson got a little bit of room, but he'll be met after a gain of 30 on the kickoff. First down and Robinson 30. trying to get the taste of that uh, interception out of his mouth as he's going to run his way all the way down after a gain of, of over 20 yards, 24 to be exact. So now we'll get to see Robinson try to throw this ball again. Big, big running room there in front, and he's going to be taken out of bounds. 
and an injury. So these big hits have just been piling on. He's got a, over a hundred yards of rushing. Ugh, I didn't do well at these. So we'll we'll lose uh, Robinson for four plays. We'll see what we'll see what Chuck Downfield, the backup quarterback, can do. He's not a scrambler like Robinson. As Downfield gets a couple of yards himself, 17 to be exact. So we'll see what they got now. Downfield hands it off to Sanchez. Sanchez deeks away from one guy and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. So a big time run there by Sanchez gets him back into the lead. As Dubois puts up the extra point and Montreal's up by four again. Big kickoff here. Woodward will take it. As he gets around one guy. And finally wrestled down Patterson. Good job there. So Robinson coming back into the ball game. He's been injured so much in these games. As a slipping and McAdoo will make the hit. And Vancouver now on the march. Remember, Vancouver, it's more than bragging rights this game. As Robinson will wrestle down. Is that now going to be their second injured running back? It's going to be Nichols, the running back. He's going to be out now. Down to their third string running back, Robinson. And that's going to be great coverage by Ace Patterson, and that's going to be an incompletion. Fourth down, eight to go, and they're going to punt it away. They're playing it a little bit safe here. You typically don't want to do this. As Robinson will take it from his own goal line, and he'll get out of bounds before somebody hits him. Robinson going to roll out of the pocket now. Ugh, and that's going to fall incomplete. So two seconds left. This will be the final play of the third quarter. And Robinson going to be brought down from behind. A gain of 14 this time. So 130 yards rushing for Robinson. Robinson going to look again back to throw. Caught by Arthur Chen. He is wide open. Taunton on the way to the end zone. Touchdown. Beautiful job there. So a big time throw. And Robinson and the gang now can have an 11 point lead on the Beavers. Good kickoff by Dubois. Woodward taking it out from his own end zone as he falls down in the snow. He wasn't touched though, he's still going on his feet and he'll get a couple more yards before finally being brought down by Sands. Under center now, Chapman. And that'll be thrown over the middle and Dobbs comes in and makes the tackle. So a good job there. Oh, over the top of Patterson. Demos makes the catch. And he's finally wrestled down by Ronnie Dobbs. Robinson has taken a beating today as 
the fullback takes it. That was uh, Fleck who took it and just short, short gain. Not much going for him there. Ooh, and it was almost picked off there by Ahmed Khan. He bats it away. Third and goal coming up here. And that's going to be... And it's Demos into the end zone. Touchdown, Vancouver. And they'll probably go for two here. No, they're going to go for the extra point and hope they get the onside kick. As that kick is through, and the Battle of Canada is getting a little bit close now. Four points. Keep in mind what's at stake for Vancouver, staying out of the relegation zone. As that onside goes out of bounds, so nothing going there for them. First down, 30 yards to go. And it's intercepted. Not the throw you want to have. Oh no. oh no, and it's going to come down to the wire here. They should have caught by Demos. He's running open field, and he's going to be into the end zone with 30 seconds left. And Vancouver. Vancouver's got a little bit of hope now. They make the extra point. It's a three-point ball game with 30 seconds to play. Trying to keep the undefeated season alive. Oh no. So right now, big time play there. It's going to come down to the wire here. Johnson's going to be out for three plays. And they got to get into field goal range with 24 seconds left. First down, 30 yards to go. Looking back to throw. And Robinson got a lot of space in front of him. And he's going to rush out of bounds. 18 seconds left. They got to get into field goal range. Looking back to throw again. And he gets pushed out of bounds after a four yard pickup. Third down, four to go now. Robinson looking back to throw. He'll take it himself and get out of bounds again. 11 yard pickup to the Vancouver 43. They got to get it close for Dubois. He's not a machine. He gets Sanchez. Sanchez into the open field. Dives forward. Touchdown. Touchdown. Pablo Sanchez gets it into the end zone. An unbelievable play. We're pretty close. Let's hit. Pablo Sanchez just scored a touchdown with four seconds left. And now, they just got to wait now back there. This will be returned by Woodward. Woodward gets by one guy. Wow, what a move. As it's going to be McAdoo fumble. It's a slippery football. Who's got it? It's Vancouver, but the time has expired. Montreal has won. They finished the year undefeated. And what a job there. Despite two interceptions from Robinson, they hold on in magnificent comeback fashion. That pass to Sanchez. Unbelievable. The Cooper Trophy. Don't care that we lost the bet. They win it. 42 to 38. No, I was talking to Miller about that yesterday. The Bearcats can't trade up. 
They don't have cap room. Excuse me. What the hell are you doing here? I got some information you're gonna wanna hear. Make it quick. First, I want a new deal. You're gonna approve my trade to the LA Riot next season. Then why should I do anything more for you? Man, fuck you. I planted your drugs. Not my fault you couldn't keep franchise locked up. This better be damn good. It's money, baby. Our boy franchise ruptured his Achilles during practice yesterday. Coaches and trainers are keeping it real quiet. Don't want the ride to know that our superstar is riding the bench this Sunday. You just earned your trade. Miss a few key tackles Sunday and I'll make you the Riot's team captain. Boys, this season just got even better for us. First thing tomorrow, call your brokers and start buying stock of the L.A. Riot. To the franchise! Gotcha, motherfucker. Faithful to the end. Awarded Enforcer Pats. World League MVP with 1,640 yards passing and uh, 23 touchdowns. Hi there. Look, I know you're busy preparing for the championship, but I just wanted to let you know how much I appreciate you sticking by me all this time. I've got you and the team some new gear for Sunday. They're supposed to be the best pads ever made, so hopefully they'll give you the edge you need. Good luck. Kim's final gift, Agent. Woo! I knew the day I signed you we'd be here sooner than later. The league fucking championship! Hey, how pissed do you think the Riot are that they had to face you? Just try and stay alive so we can celebrate. Oh man, afterwards. considering how the Vancouver <laughs> game went, uh, it's, it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be like, I, I don't know. Training? What, what other training do we need? McAdoo? What's up your tackling? Even though it's already 100%. <laughs> Upgrades? Okay, let's do this. What do we got? Let's get the QB coach. And let's up the agility. There's not really any more we can get. I didn't upgrade all of it. Uh, we don't have any injuries going into this game. Let's look at the stats before we enter this final game of this Let's Play. And It's been fun so far, and it's been a fun ride. So, Dante Robinson, 23 touchdown passes, and he rushed for six more. So, wait, I might get 1,000 yards rushing and might have... And if I have a good enough day, I might get a 2,000 yards passing. So who knows? But league MVP, it was us for the third straight year. Wait, Pablo Sanchez now the third best running back in Division One? How about them apples? Ernie Steele and Arthur Chen are both top receivers in the league, and we're by far and away the best quarterback. Not going to do any juicing. We already got our upgrades, our lifestyle. Let's look at our sponsors, though. We still have only level one protector. We have enforcer pads, fly trap, and magic rabbit. So we got we got all the sponsorships. Seven and zero record, undefeated. And let's look at the league standings. Vancouver did get relegated. Man, that 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 game was the difference. But anyway, here we are. We're favored by 16 in this championship game. We are We have not we don't have the best offense, but we have a full out maxed out defense. We can win by 16. This Hello, is it. The, it's the, greatest the Division 1 championship is here. And this is a chance for Dante Robinson to prove everyone wrong, everybody who doubted him when he decided to snub the riot and go to Montreal. And here they are, three seasons later, meeting in the championship game as Quentin Sands teased us off after a good return out to the 26th. And this is where Clayton Westcott and this riot team 
whose only blemish on the season was against the Wanderers. As Clayton Westcott finds a little seam and gets a great, great amount of yards at that as he crosses midfield and into Wanderers territory. So, a battle of dual threat quarterbacks. These guys dueled it out back in uh, Division Two, And now Ronnie Dobbs coming in and making the tackle on Diggs. As now the Riot facing a third and inches. As Diggs getting a ton of yards, carrying guys down to the Montreal 32. First down, 30 yards to go. And it's fumbled. It's picked up by Quinton Sands. Quinton Sands into the open field, being chased by Westcott. Westcott will not get him, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. 68-yard fumble return for a touchdown, and Quinton Sands gets the Wanderers on the board first. And that's what that stingy defense can do. As Dubois tacks on the extra point, and we got ourselves a 7-0 ball game before the Wanderers' offense have even touched the ball. Dubois boots it deep. This will be taken by Raman. Raman, who was hurt this season, and that's going to be Quentin Sands again on the tackle. He's been having first himself a great 30. first quarter already. And this is going to be who else? Is this Quentin Sands again? It is. Who makes a big hit? Welcome to the Quentin Sands show, everybody. That's Diggs, their running back, who is going to be out for the game. Westcott pitches back now. And that's going to be Ace Patterson, who knocks Westcott to the ground on the little trick play. So now third down and 34 to go. Robinson playing center field now on these sort of plays as he's going to come in as a heat-seeking missile and stop it before it goes anywhere else. Great stop on the play by Robinson. They're sending almost everybody in on a on this uh, punt. This one's going to go all the way back. Will this go into the end zone for a touchback? It will. So with 14 seconds left, Robinson and the gang finally get to touch touch the ball on offense. Looking back to throw, no. As he dekes right into a right to into a tackle and finally brought down and that'll be the last play of this first quarter. And Robinson kind of took a lot of hits in that Vancouver game, and they're going to try to keep him safe, keep him away from a lot of plays as it's now second down and 10. Robinson back to throw now. He's being pressured. Three guys in his face, unloads it down the field, and it's intercepted. Oh, man, that was intercepted, thrown into double coverage, and it was picked off. So now it's up to the... As that's now a big hit, fumble on the play. Then it's picked up Raymer, the linebacker. So, un so we have already had three turnovers in this game. One by Montreal, two by the Riot, and too much there. Throws it, and it's intercepted also. That's two interceptions in this ball game. It was intended for Sanchez, and Sanchez wasn't ready for it. And it was, it was a bad throw. Dobbs chasing Crowfoot, Crowfoot, and he's short of the first down. Defensive struggle. And it's going to be intercepted. Ahmed Khan coming in and making the interception. Wow. 
And that's going to be a running play. Robinson, he finds a little seam. Gets a nice run out to maybe the 40-yard line. Robinson now trying to find a little bit of open room to run. And he'll dive forward and he'll pick up some yards. So keeping the ball on the ground has been the key to success for Montreal. Avoid turnovers. As now that one's a big hit. Sanchez and Sanchez will be hurt. But he held on to the ball. But it looks like it's going to be Reese Worthington the rest of the way. So a very ugly first half. Second down, and about a Second down and 24. Blitz coming. Throws it in. Everybody was in his face and a diving grab by Chen for the touchdown. That was a... That ball couldn't have been placed any better. Arthur Chen coming down with the ball. And the Wanderers will take a 14 to nothing lead. I was kind of stunned that he caught that. That was a diving play behind the defense. And Arthur Chen continues his great run of success. Oh God, and Raman gets a nice block on the return. He's off to the races to the end zone. Touchdown, Riot. So nobody was able to bring down Raman as he takes it down to the end zone and it's now cuts the lead in half for the riot. It's 14 to seven, Montreal now. 24 seconds to go in the second quarter. Don't sleep on the Wanderers. They might have something up their sleeve as Steele will take the kickoff. Get to the outside and get rolled for a decent gain out to the 30. Remember, Dubois has some a good leg as now Robinson. He's got good blockers downfield. And he dives forward and he's got a nice pickup. Over 100 yards now on the day. Five. And it's intercepted with a route was jumped. And that's three interceptions in this game for Dante Robinson. And it's going to be intercepted. Ace Patterson. And Patterson. Oh, man. And what a game this has been. Turnovers galore. Number of turnovers low. You, you could probably overcome three turnovers. Robinson has only completed five, one pass today, and it was a 40 yards to Arthur be, Chen. So a 14-7 ball game. And, so at half -time, and we got now. We're here for the second half now. First and 30 now. Can Robinson find some sort of seem to throw this ball. He's going to go in double coverage to Ricky Johnson, and it's intercepted for a fourth time. These are in... Robinson is playing maybe his worst game of his career. Four interceptions today. And it's intercepted. It's Ronnie Dobbs. And Dobbs... Goes down, but he holds on to the football. These guys, they're losing a lot of players on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. This has been a very ugly championship game. Robinson going to look back down the field. He's looking up top. And it's caught by Arthur Chen, who rolls away from his tackler. And he's into the end zone for a touchdown. So Dante Robinson finds Arthur Chen for the second time today. And finally, they score a touchdown. A minute 30 left to go in this third quarter. And it's been ugly throughout. And the extra point is good. 
21 to 7 is your score right now. I don't think an ugly game takes away from a potential championship, but you know what? I think something that everybody was billing as a big revenge game as Robinson comes in and makes the shoestring tackle. The Can Clayton Westcott put something together offensively finally? Gets away from one tackler and it's thrown and it's caught over the middle at midfield. And that's going to be Clayton Westcott, and he's going to get sacked. Sacked the quarterback, and this has been just a horrible game for Westcott. As Crowfoot makes the catch, and he'll be short of the first down. Very strange decision to punt it this time. You know, your defense has been playing well. I think maybe you'd want to put the game in their hands. As that one goes into the end zone, bad bounce. Sands is going to take it himself and get out to the 10. Across to the 12-yard line about. So can Robinson do something else? Robinson throw, looking back to throw. will throw it deep up top. Is Chen there? Oh, and it was almost intercepted and almost caught on the deflection that time by Ricky, or sorry, Ernie Steele, pardon me. Finds Ernie Steele that time. Ernie Steele makes the grab and gets out into the open field. A nice 37 yard pickup that time. First down, 30 yards to go. Robinson handing off to Worthington. Deeks away from one guy, jumps away from the other. Gets away. He's out open space in front of him, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Wanderers. And that'll end the third quarter with the Wanderers up 27 to 7. 28 now to 7, and this will end the third quarter. As we reach the end of the third quarter, Montreal leads by 21. It's been a rough game to watch. You know, these players, they're, they're the modern-day knights. I mean, they suit up in armor, they do battle, they run. You know what? But in a game like this, when our offense didn't play well, the defense came up, stepped up, made a play. Is that one now? Oh, God. Ramen. Is he going to take his second kickoff return for a touchdown today? He will. Touchdown, Riot. And don't take the Riot out of this game yet. They're going to cut the lead in half. It'll be 28 to 14. And the extra point is good. Come on, man. A little more juice. They're going to try the onside here with a minute 46 as the hands team has been very special as Ricky Johnson holds on to it. First and 30. Ball at the 45. Robinson will take the snap and will look back. Going to heave it down the field. Caught by Chen into the end zone. Touchdown. Wonderful play. And Arthur Chen, he's certainly earned his keep today. Three touchdown catches. As that one's perfect. 35-14, and the riot. I, I swear, you would have to squarely put, put this game on the uh, offense for not doing what they were supposed to do, as that was Marky Dubois that came out of nowhere and made the hit from behind. So 30, so 35-14, Westcott under center here. He fakes the handoff, Turpitz, as that's going to be Khan that makes wraps up the receiver. Second down and quite a ways to go. So a game where Robinson threw four interceptions, and it's fumbled. It's fumbled still, and it was who who got it? A lineman got it. Interprets almost made the recovery. 
So third and 43 now with a minute 12 to go. And Westcott not able to get away. That was Carl Turpitz on the sack. And they're going to go for it here on fourth and 52. Looking pitch back. And McAdoo will make the tackle across the 50, and they won't get the long first down that they needed. And that'll pretty much seal the deal. Robinson Fires a long range caught by Chen and he will do it again and, he's in the end zone. and that'll do it Arthur Chen probably just netted the empty net goal so to say and that will pretty much ice it sort of a letdown for a championship game but Montreal fans won't complain. It is a championship nonetheless. They came into L.A. and played a fantastic football game. Mostly. <laughs> I will say, I didn't like how Robinson had to throw four interceptions in this game. But as that's a big hit and 32 seconds left and not much you can look at there. Looking back to throw, and it's going to be intercepted. It's Ahmed Khan, and that just will summarize the L.A. offense's night. Oh, man, that's just... Khan putting up the last interception, putting up the finishing touches as Robinson will get a first down as he's wrestled out of bounds for a gain of 31. Robinson still... Put, trying to put style points up and the riot call timeout second down goal to go caught by Ricky Johnson and it's a touchdown oh yeah thirteen seconds left and it's been it's been a great night for the Wanderers. 49 to 14. And there's still, let's see if the Riot can get an offensive touchdown because they have not found any sort of rhythm throughout the entire day as Raymer, or Robin, Robin still on his feet. Dubois chasing him and finally wraps him up. So maybe the only good bit of sunshine from this game for the LA Riot was Raman and his returns. But you can't win a game on kickoff returns. As they finally get that offensive touchdown, but it's not gonna matter. And as the clock runs out, Montreal has the division crown and defeated all challengers on the way. It's just not that easy to finish the season undefeated, folks. So Dante Robinson finished with five touchdown passes, four interceptions. Chen had, two, I think Chen is your championship MVP as Robinson rushed for over 300, 134 yards, rushed for 134 yards, pardon me. And they had a heck of a day. Three sacks, they recovered two, they got six turnovers as a team. 10 turnovers total in this game. Sloppy championship game, I will say, but 49 to 20 is your final score as the Montreal Wanderers are your Division I champions. Perfect season record bonus. So Dante Robinson through three seasons is 24 and 0, and that'll do it. Account balance, yeah. Staying alive, $50,000 cash. We got the Hugh Walker trophy. And that's it. We're number one. <laughs> What's the LA Riot coach doing up there? Thank you.
Damn, that ruptured Achilles sure healed fast, didn't it, Commissioner? I am gonna destroy. Hey, is that Chuck Downfield in the background? I think you're gonna be too busy to worry about me anymore. Why is that, you old fuck? Fading, money laundering, extortion. You are called, Commission. Ah, <laughs> you don't have any proof. Nope. But they do. This isn't finished franchise. You're a dead man. The one, the only franchise. And that's it. That's Blitz the League 2. Man, what a, what a series this was. I had a lot of fun making it, editing it down, and doing commentary for it. it this was a fun sports game. And it still is. I still sometimes come back to this game, play like... Uh, you can play as the other teams that you played against. So, like, you can play as Vancouver. You can play as the LA Riot in the uh, just the quick game mode. So it's fun. I, I, I recommend it to anybody that... You know, likes a arcade style football game. That's so yeah, man, I kind of wish the championship game was a little bit more, uh, you know, fun and interesting. But kind of, kind of ran through that and kind of, you know, just both quarterbacks played horrible. Both quarterbacks threw four interceptions in that championship game. <laughs> That's insane. But uh, yeah, overall, this was this was a fun series. As for um, I know this is Blitz League Two, and I do own Blitz League One. I might I, I I probably will play that at a later date. Don't know when though. So, but yeah, this was fun. Uh, graphics, I, uh, graphically speaking, uh, I I said maybe. It, it may have aged a bit poorly, but you know what? I don't really care about that. The gameplay is still fun to this day. So, yeah. I also love the credits. You get to see the uh, the developers and all that stuff. Midway. And also, speaking of which, uh, speaking of Midway games, I'm going to be back to doing Freaky Flyers, so look forward to that. Or I might have already started it with it because when this is up, I don't. This will be like December, right? I think. So, man, what a fun game this was. Oh, jeez. Those that that Vancouver game, and that I was worried in the championship because I had thrown so many interceptions and turned it over and looked bad. So, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Faithful to the end, awarded enforcer pads. League MVP, 1,913 yards. Franchise, you really earned your name today. Just do me a favor, man. Don't let it go to your head. We have a title to defend next season. Stay cool, stay clean, and you know I'll always have you. Okay. Agent Colin. How does it feel being the biggest celebrity on the planet? And the league championship is just the beginning. You built the championship caliber team. Now take it online and show the rest of the dweebs in the world that nobody does it better than you. <laughs> I can't take this online. But anyway, this was, wow, what a fun series this was. Rep was 32, pure fire. Let's look at the, uh, let's look at the end league standings. We finished, uh... Yep, eight no. Why does why does it show nightmare instead of the riot? That's weird. Okay, power rankings. Pablo Sanchez finished as the second best back in the league. Uh, he didn't really play like it. <laughs> uh, as for uh, no no not league standings league. Let's look at the league leaders. So we finished fourth in passing. Uh, Westcott finished first. S 69 yards, one touchdown passing. He had four interceptions against us. That's terrible. Meanwhile, we had five touchdowns, 
And I think we rushed for one, right? No, we didn't rush for any. We were just shy of that 1,000-yard season. So, interceptions. Ahmed Khan, he came back to his interception ways, didn't he? He had two picks in that game. Uh, sacks. Oh, we got 10 sacks. That was good. Yeah, and you know what? Not bad. Not bad at all. Pro is our star quarterback. Khan's a big setup. But wow, what an ending this series was. I can't, I thank, thank everybody. Thank you to everybody who uh, tuned in and watched. It was really fun. I enjoyed every game, every mishap, every turnover, every field goal, every touchdown. It was fun. But that will do it for this series. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next pl Let's Play. See you then.